Hello and welcome back. We are here playing as Punjab, formed from the Sikh Empire in Victoria 3. Last episode was a bit of a banger. Uh, we fought Great Britain and we were just looking to kneecap them as much as possible. We did a pretty good job. Um, there's no access to the British market here in Sub-Saharan Africa. We released both Scotland and Ireland, which is big. And still, they're keeping relatively high on, you know, the prestige score and the GDP score. Um, though notably their GDP did like it's still plummeting and going down and all this So we're probably gonna need to fight them a couple more times uh, before we can uh, Subjugate them if we want to try and do it on low infamy I'm still not 100% sure whether or not we can try and keep doing a low infamy run um, This is generally like more themey and I enjoy it more So we're gonna try and do it on low infamy where we subjugate them But I'm guessing we're gonna need to take uh, British land and if we're going to do that, we're probably going to take West County, Midlands, and East Anglia. That way, London will be isolated. Um, this will probably be the plan if we have to take land off of them. And so for now, for this episode, what we will be doing is we're going to be reevaluating a lot of our trade. Um, we are going to be trying to get these guys into the customs union. And while we decay on infamy, kind of do low infamy wars, at least for now, um, so that we can try and get under 25, try and protect her at least to some of these guys. Um, so if we do go up to high infamy, we maybe have access to more resources, or if we don't need to go up to high infamy, we kind of have a nice looking run where things kind of feel good and it's, we don't need to necessarily go like all out or high infamy. Um, it's, I think it's important to note that probably the best way to do, get the, uh, the objective right now, which is forming India and this sort of thing, would be just to, uh, or see, sorry, let's go in here, it's to get the empire under the pun, to subjugate Great Britain, probably would be just declaring war on one of, uh, on Messina, who has a defensive pact, oh, they got rid of their defensive pact with Great Britain. So now we can't just uh, declare on them in order to get the, to uh, get rid of the alliance. Uh, do they have any... Anyone who they are allying, Great Britain or something like this. It looks like the no, so okay, this will be fine. We can't uh, get a shorter war with Great Britain. Anyways, um, a little before last episode, they were still protectorating Messina, so it would have been possible for us to declare on Messina in order to get this. But for now, we're just going to be going through the trade, uh, looking to have a little bit more of a chill episode. We have to keep declaring wars as much as possible. Um, that way we can... Uh, as long as we are keep declaring wars, the North Germany cannot declare wars. We're allied with them, so we get pulled into their wars, they get pulled into ours. So we'll want to keep declaring wars as much as possible. Uh, but we'll just want to, you know, do low infamy plays. Like, for example, open up Japan's market. We can uh, pull them into our market after we open them up. And we're just going to declare to open their market, and then Germany gets pulled in. So this will be big nice. Uh, we will be trying to get people in the customs union, trying to get them happy, this sort of thing. We'll see if we can improve relations with these guys in addition to... No, we can't uh, improve... And bankroll but we will be doing this sort of stuff but let for now let's go uh we're gonna go on speed three for now because we are gonna be looking quite a bit in the trade stuff it's been a while since we've uh, reevaluated all of our trade uh and so i think we will be wanting to do that so this one not very profitable intentionally exporting here to the Dan denmark is not doing very well we get uh let's we are producing our own oil now so let's stop on all that uh, exporting porcelain to Portugal not working out so well so we'll just get rid of it we do want to keep importing a lot of this stuff and it's not super super unproductive 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 I don't know where that was about let's cut off that route okay we have a bunch of inactive ones with uh, Spain, but we don't really need uh, to refund the bureaucracy, so it's not too big a deal. Let's also come in and uh, look at the goods in our market real quick. And particularly, uh, we are looking how many of our orders are coming from trade routes. So our sell orders of coal, it looks like most of our coal production is domestic. What about our sell orders of iron? We are importing a decent chunk of iron, but we it looks like we might even be able to take, uh, you know, people weird stuff happening what about lead yeah lead we are really dependent on other people for lead um and so we will want to try and accumulate some lead if we are going to go high infamy somewhere scotland does give us a uh, obligation so we will try and we will just absolve it to boost them up here because we cannot pull them into the customs union or protectorate them hopefully they're not defending the borders uh, and once we get off of Infamous, we will hopefully be able to uh, protectorate them. They're acquiring colonies, industrialize, etc. Mostly etc. 
And these guys also don't have, uh, these guys are protectoratable, more protectoratable than Perm and Siberia, which are defending the borders, unfortunately, with the standard, like, conservative-looking government, so this is what it is. Uh, let's go into trade, and we're going to look at import trade routes. I said we are going to look at import trade routes. Okay. Interesting. We're going to see what we can profitably import. We're going to look at productivity, but we care a lot more about volume. And we're going to import from the Scottish market. Interesting. That they are producing dyes. I guess they must be producing it in the dye producing buildings. The buildings, not the uh, plantations. We're going to look at coffee. Sure, some from the Danes. Uh, we're going to import from the Azerbaijani. Uh, we want to export fertilizer, not import it. Floating harbor, big nice. Let's import this from the Russians. Looking at stuff that's taking zero convoys, although we do have a decent amount of convoys, and maybe we want to try and get Argentina and Venezuela into the market if we are trying to do, you know, kind of higher plays. We'll import these from Scottish and uh, them as well. And actually, let's see, coal, can we import it from Perm or Siberia? No. We will also just generally look to import stuff from Perm and Siberia as much as possible. We'll import grain from the Irish. We generally are trying to run a lot of trade routes with these guys. That way they will uh, we'll import these from the Scottish. That way it's easier to pull them into the market. Oop. Can we, yeah, we can import from them. And we can import from Russian and French. And Austrian and North German. And all these will be really profitable on the hardwood. And it will also encourage them to build hardwood themselves. We can import lead from the Irish. Of course, it want to do that. Lead is a bit of a problem. We can import meat from the Austrians. Portuguese, Nejd, Irish. And that seems good. Opium, probably not. Rubber, no. Silk, we can import from the North German market. Ah, this is unfortunate. Also, this changes a lot of things. It looks like we have been abandoned by Great Shing. Who left our customs union, which is big sad. Uh, we can start bankrolling them and try and get them back in. But this is the main reason we didn't want to go high infamy in the first place. Uh, because they would get booted out of our market. And if they're out of our market anyways, maybe we just want to go for it. I'm not really sure here. This was, this was the main reason to stay low infamy. And I mean, we can bankroll them and get a get a thing and then we can have them change to our customs union and like this sort of stuff we have a defensive pact with these guys man it's like maybe this is good but like also we're already pretty infamous we could just go for it you know um i mean we have truces with russia and with france and with austria so what i'm talking about now is i'm talking about loading and not doing this war and just doing like some big big wars actually probably annex persia but just ramp up the the infamy uh, eventually over a hundred and then do really really big ones i think that this is uh i'm gonna pause the recording and have a thing okay i think we're just gonna stay low infamy for just a little bit longer maybe we'll stay super longer but this great shing business is uh pretty pretty annoying um I mean, we could get better relations with them. The problem is we've gotten negative relations from other stuff. Um, we could bankroll them. This would improve relations. Why don't we just start improving relations? We could bankroll them. How expensive is this? It's kind of an expensive bankroll, so let's not do it. We'll just improve relations with Great Shing. I suppose we should have been improving all this time. I think they we took a huge relationship hit kind of with the taking this and taking this. If they had interest in the areas, this is perhaps why they left us. I don't know exactly when they left us. I wish we could have like a car alarm type buzzer. Um, but what we'll do is we'll try and be low infamy for now uh, and then try and ramp up uh, kind of a little bit later. Um, we'll see how we can do this. Let's go to our exports. Oh, it's so ugly. Please make it go away. Um, so let's try and export furniture to these guys. Nope, I guess we can't. Do they not have an interest? Either Punjab or... Do they not have an interest where they are? Or we don't have an interest in there. Let's get interest in there. And then we can trade with them a little bit more. I guess we didn't have an interest up there. Certainly not a native one. And then we will also put an interest down here, I guess. And try and proceed along this way. 
we're more than happy to add these guys back down so we're just gonna put in war reparations on them as well and also you know revoke and eh, let's not revoke claims let's just keep this like this if we wanted to go really high infamy actually puppeting japan the shogunate would be fine i suppose we could do that man i'm super conflicted here is what we're supposed to do uh, because, so what will happen is, well, let's look at the strategic region. Let's look who has interest here. Because we will be max infamy as soon as we do this. Um, so France, uh, Great Britain, Russia, Xing, everyone can join against us. Looks like probably Austria as well. I didn't quite see them. Let's just keep it on for now. We're going to stay low infamy for now. Uh, we want to recover a little bit. Like, we're, we're going to default. If we if everyone embargoes us, we'll default. And we'll just collapse, I think, actually. So I think we have to do this. We'll look to get the GDP to maybe 600 million or something. 800 million. Something around this neighborhood. And uh, these guys will probably back down. We don't want to add anything that incurs any infamy. Because we're looking to play the low infamy way. At least for a little bit. Uh, Scotland wants a trade agreement. Yeah, let's go, baby. Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. We can invite them to the Customs Union by giving them an obligation, but this is what we want here. The Shogunate backs down. They give us what we want. They open up their market to us. And so we will start bankrolling them in the off chance that we can get them into the Customs Union. We're just going to check all of our bankrolls as well. All right. We don't have too many. I think we open... Uh, would die. Are you on... Isolationism, you are. So we can look to open up Wadai's market. Again, this is a zero infamy play that is pulling uh, North Germany into it. Uh, and so we can just float North Germany as an ally for now uh, and look to do something else later. Also notably, we can trade with them and pull them into our market. So we'll do another one of these. Uh, we kind of don't care who joins uh, these plays. Uh, so we'll do this and this. Who's Kaur? What HQ? Central Asia HQ? Did we build... Oh, so we got something from here. I mean, I guess we can just keep that guy. Because we got this barracks here. Yeah, sure. Why not? Alright, we got our interest activated. So let's uh, look through the import again. Can we import fabric from these guys? Let's import fabric from both of them. Grain from both of them. I'm sure that... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure of anything. We're going to import hardwood from here. We're going to import iron from iron. Uh, both of them. Coal from both of them. Looks like one of those coal roots is actually pretty good. Lead as much as we can. Meat from both of them. Uh, sulfur from one of them. The one that'll do it. And then uh, wood from both of them. And then we'll export to them kind of all their needs in terms of clothes and furniture. And now we also want to, uh, we had stopped what we were doing on exports. Let's also just do as much of profitable or really nice looking routes as we can. Looks like there's a lot of large routes we can run, uh, regards to clothing. And we are producing a lot. And this will also make it so that, you know, when stuff kind of collapses, uh, everyone will rev, uh, when they embargo us. And so we won't be able to get, uh, dogpiled as hard. Um... Let's see, we want to export finished goods in particular. Automobiles would be great if uh, they'll take them. It looks like they'll take some. Engines? Anyone taking engines? Not very good routes, but okay. Glass, we can export. Porcelain's really the kind of the better one, so let's try and get on this. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Looks like none of these are extremely large, but we will want to export uh, the luxury clothes here and here and here and here. Uh, we're not really caring necessarily if they're profitable. Uh, we are trying to do huge trade volumes so we can pull them into the market much easier. Uh, more so than anything. Um, and it looks like most of these are profitable anyways. Do you need steel, my guys? What about tools? With steel? Nah, not very exportable to anyone else. Wine? Okay. So... We are proceeding quite nicely here, and we can... Looks like they want trade agreements now. Let's go, baby. And we can invite to Customs Union on both of these if we give them an obligation. We could take on debt, all these sort of stuff. They're a little wary. They probably should be. This makes sense. Uh, looks like we can get Scotland sometime soon. We will get progress towards one of these. I'm not sure. So electric railways, we have around 6k left. So let's just get all the progress there, and we'll just crank it out. And we will, of course, turn on the electric railways here in the capital. 
And we're actually not going to, we're not going to delete any of this. We're going to trigger the Metropolitan Railway event, or we should here, in just a second once they apply up. I think we are on uh, using all of the railways, or using steel cars on all of our railways, so we will look to, we're going to take a look at infrastructure. And we are going to, uh, any place that is having an infrastructure problem, we're going to start turning on the railways. I, my brain is like not working right now. So, Paluchistan, electric train time. Uh, if only this UI was a little bit better for doing this, but here, electric train time. Here, electric train time, which will kind of help. They're having other problems, or less. Uh, they're having other, other problems, so that's a thing. Uh, we will give them reasons to back down, so we'll just ask for war reps and ban slavery if they want to fight this out, which I'm guessing they won't want to. Uh, we'll just up the speed just a little bit, and uh, we are making money, but I think that money moves. I think that what we want to do is we want to start raking back some of this debt. Uh, so that we can, when we go high infamy and everyone embargoes us, we won't be so screwed. Um, and so this is the plan. Uh, Austria is finally cut off. Although Great Britain somehow managed to do this, but they're also having an uprising. So we'll see how, what becomes possible here. We are getting a lot of mass migration, but I think that our migration overall will slow quite a bit. This little stutter step, maybe we're flattening out because we lost China. But we'll see. Uh, we'll take a look at the agrarian party. I think what we want to do is we want to check and see if we still have that god-awful guy here. The guy who's a bandit. Yeah, he is. So we'll add to the agrarian party. This will be fine. Not triggering the Metropolitan Railway event. What's that about? Uh, we will also... I think we didn't swap over everything in these. No, we did swap them all to motor carriages. We're going to look to slowly swap over uh, to electric streetlights as well. Uh, not going to try, or going to try not to cause any sort of uh, shortage and electric engines, and this might cause a shortage, but it's also going to make more money in the long term. We'll see Brian Electrolysis also good. Shortage? No? Okay. Electric sewing machines. That might be a bridge too far. We will look to expand the power plants even more again. So let's find an industry. Uh, looks like they're making decent amount of money. So let's find... Libya has been incorporating for a while, so... And they have a lot of guys. So we'll just slap down this in Libya. And we'll put it on auto-expand as well. And then we'll turn them on to electric railways, because they're going to need some more. And then we'll add a couple of these. And that should be good. And let's check how we're doing here with these guys, getting these guys in. Notably, can't protect her at Ireland because they are a major power, uh, which is just indicative of how much, like, we have to do to sufficiently get Great Britain to come down to being a minor power, to being uh, impossible for us to, like, even do something against them. Because we can't vassalize these guys, right? Uh, or can we? Punjab cannot have vast... Okay, wait. Puppet. So we cannot puppet major powers, so we have to get them down to minor. Which is going to be what we have to do to the UK. And so I'm guessing we might even have to... Yeah, we're probably just going to have to do a bunch of huge transfer subject uh, like on them. Probably starting with Canada, Australia, and the Raj. Or the Canada, Australia, Raj and Baroda. Raj and Baroda are probably the biggest ones than Canada. And this is going to be a huge amount of infamy. Um, are we fully constructing? Yeah, we're fully constructing and we're making a ton of money. We just had a bunch of swap overs in terms of like really important tech. And we're having a bunch of these finish. So I think we can afford the electricity now. And we are actually going to do a little bit of maintenance here. Can we afford this? Probably not. Or probably can't afford all the electricity. We're going to come through and everything that's 51, we're going to make sure that it's auto-expanding because this is what we want anyways. Um, for everything. Now, a lot of them will be, but a lot of them won't be because we are kind of trying to play fast. And when we 51, we haven't... Uh, oh, let's do that in Kenya as well. You can expand up, my guy. And just doing this through... 
Man, Great Britain's in such a bad spot after all this. What is this? A 31? That's a crime. You can't just leave them at 31. You really have to... If they're above 30, you really have to get them to 51 as best you can, like, once you're at this phase of the game. A lot of a con people are migrating from Great Britain. Love to see it. Paluchistan, again. 31, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, this is kind of also a bit of a problem, but I'm not sure Timbuktu is uh, recognized, and they don't have, uh, or incorporated, and they don't have full employment, so we'll just let that slide. Tooling workshops, there's a lot of them. I think we can just, yeah, we can keep going in terms of the unpause. I just get a panic attack when uh, I'm unpaused, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We won't get wrecked by this native uprising. Yeah, it's fine. All the paper mills. Chem plants. Probably don't have too many. I think Western Afghanistan is one of our bigger ones. No, it looks like Dahomey. We'll add a little bit to Dahomey. Well, we're not going to add just that much. We're just going to 51 it. What is this? Azerbaijan wants a trade agreement? Sure. Uh, I think we're... Are we bankrolling them? We'll see in just a sec. Maybe we want to get another one of these synth plants up to high levels. Probably not. We can... Well, it'll save some of our stuff for not dies. So why don't we just do this? I uh, can't just leave it at 26, can we? There we go. We actually probably should take a look at Chad and then uh, turn these to electric and add a couple of these. And then let's get off this and then come over here. We're gonna make sure, again, all the 51s are auto expanding. Definitely want them to have come on up. 19 is almost at the point, but it isn't fully employed. Almost at the point where we need to, like, put it on auto expand, you know? What shipyards? We'll put this one on auto expand. It is the biggest. Right here, Punjab, it is the biggest. I think the Punjabi munitions plant's already auto expanding. There's that. We could go rotary valve, do some labor saving. Agrarian party crushes the oppo. That's a big oppo crush. Uh, we will have urban centers, arts academy. So generally, Arts Academy is kind of an inferior building, but you see this one's coming up to 34. We are going to 51 it. So this is 39, 40, 41, 51. And if we see another one over 30, we're going to also do the same, give it the same treatment. Um, power plants, I think we want all these on auto expand, yes. And then government administrations, and then we're good. Uh, we're gonna actually increase the unis to, like, 101. Thank you. Uh, it's not very tremendously efficient, but we don't mind hemorrhaging value for more tech spread. Uh, especially because we're gonna be going ahead of time and stuff. Oop, did... Oh, would I didn't back... Would I back down, maybe? Or they got enforced on? See, this is why you don't pause when the thing's coming through. All right. Construction center. Where do we have a lot of labor? We're going to look, and we know on some of these we are actually building stuff. So, Kiva, we're incorporating Libya. This type of thing. We're going to kick all these to the front, and we're going to get back to uh, the high construction levels we were at before. And by high, I mean 31. It's really not that high, but don't harsh our mellow, you know what I mean? We'll call it high. Great Britain's importing significant stuff from us. That should help their economy. Our economy is just blitzing up. And um, hopefully, don't start a play, please, Russia. Does Russia get auto-involved in this? They do, so they can't start a play right now. And once this is over, we'll start another play, and another play, and then, and then, and then. God, I just don't want to, like, read through and try and figure out what's best. This guy can get an alcohol. Oh, actually, we'll just do this. Whatever. <sighs> Looks like Ireland's having a bit of a bad time. We probably should have picked a side on this. It looks like regular Ireland's going to win. Can we invite you to the Customs Union? We can if we take... Ah, uh, but we could take on your debt. So let's take on their debt. 
We can take on Perm's debt as well. Let's take on their debt. And can we take on your debt? No, we cannot. But we're going to invite these boyos to the customs unions. Now, maybe they accept, like, uh... Well, we're going to invite them to the customs union so that they can't become higher than a Meyer power. Which I believe that's how that works. No, that might not be how that works. And after Perm says yes, we'll invite them. And then we'll try and protectorate them. All right. Now, we'll use the obligation. They're still wary of us, and they're defending the borders, so that's probably not gonna happen the way we want, but not too too bad for us. Looks like UK is having a bit of a problem, and uh, Communist Great Britain is what's gonna come out of this. They're number eight great power. Uh, if communists win, then uh, we can declare war on them again straight away, and maybe we do this. Uh, the guys who just joined our customs union can't leave it very uh, quickly. This is the best deals in the history of all deals, the Punjabi Chad pipeline. Let's go. It's a free pipeline, guys. Real Chad pipeline. We're going to take a screen grab of that. The freest of pipelines. It's actually just free. It's 10 infrastructure for nothing. Is it in the budget for Punjab? I think so. Absolute banger of a pipeline. You love to see it. Is this Great Britain getting shellacked by Native Uprising? Maybe. You love to see it. We get Punjabi colonization, and we need to declare war immediately. Um, so we can open up Ethiopia, or these guys' markets as well. Kind of what we've been doing. Um... We would love to change them to our customs. We could bankroll them. This is such an expensive bankroll, though. Um, we can invite these guys straight away to the customs union. We're also going to start protecting or giving them money uh, in the off chance that we can do something with that. These guys are genial. Disinterested, Venezuela. Can we invite you to the customs union? We're kind of close. Why don't we just bankroll these guys and maybe we can protectorate them? That would be big nice. Um... But we need to declare another war, and we want it to be a low infamy war. And so, what do we want to do? We could go after Trugal States eventually. Uh, there's kind of not really that many low infamy wars. I guess annexing these boyos is just three. It's probably, a, like, we probably actually just should have opened one of these Ethiopian guys' market, but whatever. Azerbaijan enters our customs union. We're infamous at 39, so we're, we're cranking down. Uh, we could rival some more guys, uh, just so that we, let's rival Spain, uh, and let's rival Russia, let's rival the Netherlands maybe, hopefully this doesn't make North Germany hate us, because we're looking to float a little bit more, uh, of the Diplo, so that we decay the infamy faster, I'm getting mass migration from Perm for Russia, we're gonna just take a quick look, we can invite these guys to the customs union raw dog style, let's go baby. And is this New Ireland, or is this the previous? Nope, it's the previous Ireland. Previous iteration. We have a ton of stuff in the Customs Union. We're back up over 3k construction, and we're making money. Uh, we're notably making money after having decreased taxes four notches. We're not running any consumption taxes. So it's big nice. Let's we'll see if we can pass any laws that would be good. Or, uh... The Industrialists are happy, the Intelligentsia are happy. Actually, I think I'm happy with everyone being happy. Um, and getting bonuses. It's unfortunate we couldn't... Let's put the liberals in government. Hopefully this juices them up a little bit. Oil discovered in Gabon. Let's hear what they have to say. Love, to get, love getting more radicals. And them getting more popularity. Because that popularity, I believe, if I'm not mistaken... Uh... Oil's the future, the future's not the children. Oh, but now this guy's the leader. Maybe we wanted this guy's the leader, because he got more popular. Popular. Which is good. We love popularity, because it gives us authority. Where's our war? This is our war. We just have to keep declaring war. I guess we could open market Siam as well. They also start out uh, like that. And we're just still decaying down, just nice and comfortable. Where our GDP is just absolutely cranking up. Ooh, looks like... Where's Great Britain in there? 
Just absolute pure collapse. It still has so much prestige, though. Yeah, there's just no... I, I just don't think there's a way to do this low infamy style, which is a bit of a bummer. We're really hoping to do it like that. Maybe we can protect her at a couple guys before... before we make the plunge into the high infamy, but... The guys who we just invited into the customs union nor notably have to stay there for a little bit, which will smooth things out slightly, but it's not going to be a very smooth thing at all. So we'll look to get down at least a third... Um, of our credit line available, something like this. Maybe we'll look to get down to like 1.5 million or 150 million uh, in debt or whatever. And this will be a nice little threshold or equilibrium thing. So what is this about? Oh, it's just a rev. Yep, the, it's of course these guys rev after getting absolutely shellacked and their economy just collapsing because the standard of living collapsed with it. Uh, I think it's funny that the British uh, Communist Great Britain is like, um, actually, it would be, if we could somehow get there to be a status quo here, I mean, we can't, they're also on trench after not having trench versus us, um, if we could somehow get them on, a status quo would be so perfect if these guys just split in half and these guys only had like two states or whatever, but it looks like communist, communism is going to win in Great Britain. You love to see it, except you don't. Um, ooh, we come over a 20 SOL, which is going to help the mass migration events, but we are kind of actually in a bit of a state of discomfort uh, because mass migration was significantly nerfed and it's not going to supply us with the amount of pops we need. This will crank up and so will the SOL and so will the normal wage. Uh, I guess it's okay though. We are cranking up. Let's take a look at what we're doing in the tech. Actually, let's take a look at our uh, PMs and make sure we're starting to switch on over. Yeah, let's go to automatic power looms. And it is, uh, we want to be at least on water tube boiler on everything, I think. Uh, and then we will switch over more of these uh, to using electricity, which is preferable. We, of course, don't want to run a shortage, but short of running a shortage, we just want to crank up electricity a lot. Or we want to turn on all these PMs. Let's look, take a look in here. Electric fences is pretty good. Um, oop, we can go rail log carts and, of course, refrigerated cars here. Let's just have these auto expand. We're gonna get a lot of mass migrations, but it's still not going to like really do what we want. I think we want um, regulatory bodies here, despite the fact that it's gonna make these guys really upset. Um, are we actively researching production tech right now? We're not, so yeah, let's do regulatory bodies and try and get on that. It'll make the trade unions happy, the, uh, the industrialist big sad, but we care more about the trade unions bonus and our trade unions bonus is doubled right now. And so we're getting workforce ratio and manufacturing throughput, which is big, huge, big, nice. All right, we got to pause uh, because we have to declare war immediately. And the question is, is do we do a high infamy war or not? Um, especially, yeah. So we could take on Scotland's debt again but we aren't gonna be able to pull them in uh, until we lose the truce. And so, what time is this truce up? Uh, truce is 02. Well, that's kind of close. And we currently can start a fight with France, right? Uh, and what we want from France is to liberate whatever this is. Mysore, probably? Uh, and I think that we our truce is almost up with them, but is not quite up. Is up in November of this year, June. We don't want to give uh, them a chance. So what can we do? We have no subjects to annex except Persia, which is a big one. So I guess it's just opening this guy's market just to buy time. God, that feels pretty... This guy's probably better to open. Open up. That feels pretty not good, though, that this is our, like, best play that we can make. Um, I mean, I have to imagine there's a better play, but I have to... I also imagine it doesn't matter too much. I mean, we could Dominion these guys. That's not too much infamy. And then we can annex them later. Probably could just take their stuff, though. 
can't we have a truce with them but we could just dominion nejd notably despite this looking like uh there's a road there there's not a road from there to there it goes from here to this <laughs> um i mean it's three infamy i think that we're just trying to get under 25 to try and protect it some guys and then try and get out so i think that actually we just open these guys market or maybe we embrace we take eastern molly we've wanted it for so long What we really want is this war to be over. I mean, if Germany calls us in, we could just not honor the call. I think that we just open this guy's market, though. And we're just overthinking this. Uh, where's the Niger HQ guy? Oh, this guy's huge, though. Eh, whatever. It'll be spookier. Go back down faster. And we're going to put in everything else so that they just back down, probably. Uh, if anyone's psychotic enough to join against us, that's kind of fine. I think we would not mind fighting France and releasing this, and we would not mind fighting Russia and, I guess, releasing Ukraine. So this is all fine for us. Looks like we are finishing up some of these, uh, these plants here, even though it doesn't uh, cosmetically look like it, so let's, well, let's get all this on Bone China. Film is unlocked, we will swap over to that. And we are also probably, let's, Tooling Workshop, we're probably, this is, I think, if I recall correctly, the more efficient one. So we're gonna swap up onto that. We're gonna keep these on privately owned, because of reasons. And I think we can do this now. The move in pitch up. Uh, so if we... Mm, we just barely have the trade unit's bonus, but we'd also love to get the intelligentsia bonus. So we'll just do this. For now. Ooh, it does give us middle managers, which is kind of nice. We kind of don't really need that bureaucracy, but whatever. Expecting these guys to back down. Would love for this to get resolved faster. It looks like the communists are really in charge here. Uh, we're probably going to need to damage relations with them. Eh, maybe not. Are they helping? Are they? No, they're not making relations better, so we could just leave it be for now. I suppose. Can we protect our you guys? Please, please, please. Why do you have to defend the borders? Come on. Is it because you were released from conservatives? Of course it is. We will take that approval, and then we'll just re-increase the institution anyways. Uh, I guess we could increase social security if we really wanted, but we don't really want it. We're pretty fine with the poor laws. Everyone approves it. Everyone likes that. We are coming on down. Are we anywhere? No, we're nowhere near having 150 million credit line maybe but we are expanding the credit line the credit's expanding so as a proportion this is decreasing Hans are mass migrating <laughs> from great britain you love to see it all right well this guy's gonna get a war he's gonna get a shellacking is what he's gonna get uh which leaves us probably in a good spot here uh japan wants a trade agreement let's come through our bank rolls and just see what we can do. Sometimes it's buggy and it doesn't show, like, uh, if you use the, the lens or whatever. Doesn't show what you want to see. Well, oh, actually, let's not improve relations with them. And we're damaging relations with Sokoto. Let's just stop. So we're floating more up here. And we're improving relations with the Ottomans. Still just gonna stop. That way our infamy decays a little bit faster. Uh, we're gonna come in here, take a look. 34. That feels slow, but it's like watching something boil, right? Unless you're a bandit. You're not a bandit. You're a pillager, though. Which doesn't matter, I don't think. We see some colonization complete. Let's make sure... Ah, yep, that's why we check. Although I think we should have checked earlier on that one. We are getting a good amount of colonization in. Notably, this is worthless to the British, because they don't have any market access. And, uh... 
they're getting properly thwacked. Unfortunately, this uh, Great Britain, even though they only have 1,200 prestige, is uh, going to annex, and then they're going to get all the prestige of the subjects. We get a trade agreement here with Ireland, which is big nice. Can we invite them to the customs union? Yeah, we can. Let's go, baby. So they won't be able to leave uh, very quickly. I think we might be able to protect her at them, actually. We just have to wait the five years, so I guess we can be low infamy for five years, maybe? Something like this? I mean, we're pretty close to getting into the low infamy range. We just need to release my soar here. Uh, can't take this from France. France war reparations are broken, which means we can fight them again. And so we can release my. We can look to release these guys. So let's take a look and declare interest and make sure we have an interest in South. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's have an interest up there. We're getting to the point where we can have interest everywhere. Let's do all that. That'll be big, nice. Just a bit of a chiller, a chiller episode. Just opening markets for no reason. Not planning on trading with them. Not bankrolling these guys. I mean, we probably should just dial Great Britain once this war ends, to be honest. And not try and mess around with, oh, maybe we can protect Great Scotland. And then slowly, it's just too much. And we aren't going to be able to, we aren't going to get to protect any of these guys because they're going to just stay on defending the borders. So we can stop the bankrolls with them specifically. Because they're both in the customs union anyways. And we'll just float higher on this. Oh, it looks like the bankrolls weren't costing too much. Somehow we have a clipper shortage. So let's take a look at what our PMs look like. It's not us. Ooh, we can switch to monitor, so let's do that. Oh, we just got it, that's why. It makes sense. That checks out. And we get enforcement on them, and now we can fight uh, France. I think that we will just push it through. And we can force- uh, we can- so let's see what we want to do. I think- if we just say conquer my sore, how much infamy is that? I don't think this is what we do, but that's a bit. Can we go after Madras? I think we can't because they're a GP and you can't take another GP's stuff. Uh, if it's a, if it is a treaty port, we just can't take it. Oh, we can. We can take treaty ports now. French Madras, 10 infamy. And also French Goa. How much is that? It's almost like they could alphabetize this and it would be so much better. But they don't. And so you just have to scroll endlessly to find stuff. So we could take Madras but not Goa? Or I don't have eyes. I probably don't have eyes. Volta, Windward Coast. Oh my god. My eyes. Please. So we could take this, French Madras, or we could just declare, like, a nothing burger war against them, right? Open their market, and we face France, Russia, and Brazil. Well, that's not ideal that to have to face France and Russia, uh, but you have a defensive pact with Brazil and Russia, your dominion over Isaac, so we could just declare war on Isaac, yes? Where are you? Aren't you over here somewhere? Over here, maybe, I guess? I forget where Isaac is. Okay. So we could just liberate Isaac here against France, and we'll fight just France. Uh, we'll fight them with our North German friends. Um, and this should be big easy. Uh, we'll take war reps from them, and then we'll force them to release all the Indian stuff. Um, and we'll have them release it, uh, ideally just release it, but I guess conquer what we need to, and so we'll just liberate subject. Uh, we don't care about Isaac at all, we just care about getting a little bit of a better war situation. Okay, 
So everyone who's from... Well, this guy, we're just going to leave at home because uh, he's not going to do much. But the Persia HQ guys, we're just going to leave in Persia. The Niger HQ guys, we're going to mobilize and have a uh, fight in here. And uh, the Persia HQ guys, we're going to land with. North India guy HQ guys, we're going to move to the French front here. Now, the French are on... Maybe we just want to defend, actually. Uh, because, again, they are on trench, and so despite the fact that we are considerably stronger, uh, we can just do this. We will mobilize everyone as well, so we need less clicking. We'll leave that guy at home. We'll have just defend up with the Hughes at front. North Africa, we will have advance here. Niger HQ, we will have advance... Here, I guess, and then this now guy will have advance over here. And then who are our biggest guys? So this guy we will he's in the Niger HQ, we'll have him advance here. And then this guy, Persia HQ, Persia, 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 Persia. Okay, all this is fine. Um the Central Asia HQ guy, let's find actually. Maybe we just want to recruit a few more boyos out here. And put this guy on something useful, because he is out here. And so let's just... We're going to mobilize him. And we're going to put him over down here. And he can kind of clean some of this up. And that'll be nice. And then the rest of the guys will all land with uh, on France. And we'll also add war reparations here. Or actually, Liberate's probably... This is going to be Mysore. It's going to be the bigger... So, Liberating Mysore. It looks like that will release multiple things. And then, we can't take Goa, unfortunately. Right? Let's do Liberate Mysore and see if we can conquer state Goa. Or I don't have eyes. I don't see any of it. Take Treaty Port. Tripolitania, Namakalana. I don't see any of it. Why can't we take Goa here? Because it's Portuguese. That's actually a pretty good reason why we can't take it. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, so we will make this primary in case they back down. And then we'll go for war reparations probably. Uh, but we'll just wait and see. Because Russia might join in and we'll kind of evaluate down the line here. You don't say. We have <laughs> vulnerable fronts. Ooh, that's a spicy meat of ball. They're moving 97 there, so we're just gonna have this guy come in here and defend there. And we do have to keep an eye a little bit on these fronts. And maybe, so which guy is gonna range it is our defender dude. And so maybe we move one of these bigger Persia guys over to here to kind of uh, force France out here. They're worried. Good. Let me activate conscripts uh, a little bit up here. You can also activate in Punjab. This would probably be fine. Russia sides with France. So this is what I was waiting to see. Um... So we still have extra maneuvers. We can uh, release uh, Ukraine, Ukraina. Uh, this guy, of course, we will need to move over to here. We're probably gonna need to actually activate a ton of conscripts now. Um, We're gonna activate them only when we where we actually have generals though. I think we have some there. I can't remember. I think this is Oh that's I can't believe that's a thing, but okay. And we also have the North African one, so let's do that as well. Okay, so we are gonna at least how many landings do we need? Well, we're gonna maybe need to reorganize some of these guys. So some of these bigger guys, why don't we move back? 
to here. For this front, this front is a, gonna cave. Uh, this is where you from Himalayas. We are going to, uh, as they come on up, we should be able to push in with them and then reassign them over here. So I think we're kind of fine. Kind of. This is going to be kind of a big fight, though. Ah, uh, but what did we want to put in? I think we are going to liberate Ukraine. Brazil sides with France. I think we're liberating Ukraine. Could go high infamy. No, now's not the time to go high infamy on, like, Russia. This is stupid. Let's just live Ukraine and war reps on both of them. Right. I think that's it. I guess we can wait and see if someone else joins. I don't think Russia's gonna be on trench either now. Our army is considerably stronger than last time we had this little bit of a rumble, but we're now losing money again. Uh, so this is not necessarily ideal, but maybe it's indicative of why we shouldn't go super high infamy because we can't we can't fight multiple we can't fight like four GPs at once, right? We're strong, but we're not that caked up. France has so many flotillas, man. Wow. We should have a little bit more flotillas this time around. Yeah, we do. Uh, we will, uh, I think, escort with this guy to here. And so they're coming from here to there. And so we will keep that guy on escort and look to land with the other ones. Alright, they're confident. I don't know why. But we will put in war reparations on France. War reparations on Russia. And also liberate country Ukraine. Or maybe Occitania is the one. Maybe that's the play. Who do we want to be absolutely kneecapped? Well, Russia's already pretty weak, right? Yeah, I think it maybe is Occitania here. Just a significantly weak in France. not the children, it's the oil. What's the future? Let's take a look at our PMs. Fortunately, we did swap the navy one relatively recently. Let's get rid of these. Navy PM, that is. What happened here? Weird. Very weird. So we're gonna be landing with four guys, and we have Ranjit uh, did a good job defending before, so I guess we'll just keep him on defense. We'll be landing Russia first, or no, let's land France first, because they're the main opponents. We have defense, defense, offense, offense. Oh, they have a lot of guys there though. Mm -mm. That's not really ideal. Maybe we just triple land. We'll send this guy over here. Uh, or actually, let's send him back. Is there anyone who's good at defense here? There is. So we're going to send him here. We're going to have this guy defend with him. And we'll probably just land this at the start with one guy. And then uh, triple land uh, northern France as well. We get an obligation from Scotland. Can we pull you? Oh, you're in customs union. We're gonna see if we can protect her at you though. A little bit down the line. Not quite yet. I think we're actually gonna be concluding this episode as this war pops though. Arrest them for assaults. We get negative enactment time. Uh, let's take a look. I'm pretty sure these guys really are happy with us and the trade... Oh, well... In order to keep the industrialist bonus, we will not anger them further. And hopefully this will be good. And the war pops. And with that, um, I think we are going to conclude this episode. 
Uh, we're gonna leave this because this will be a nice little, uh, uh, nice little opening to the next one, which we're going to record right into. But for now, we're gonna conclude this episode. This episode has been a relatively chill one. We just declared a bunch of wars to open people's markets to kind of stall and let our infamy decay. We are just barely infamous. We haven't accrued any more infamy from this war. We'll get back under twenty-five. We'll try and get some protectorates. And then we'll go for a big, big war against uh, the UK. Uh, we have a ton of time uh, to do this, and we will probably be doing the trick where if you transfer the Raj and Baroda everywhere else interior uh, loses access. And so if we transfer Baraj, uh, or the Raj, Baroda, Australia, and Canada all in one swoop, uh, this uh, will uh, should make it so that we can vassalize the UK afterwards. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Bam. I always forget that one. And have a good day.